wanted to do this video to quickly show you how to adjust prices inside Amazon Manage Inventory and how to base your pricing off of other sellers. So I'll go down to an active item um, that has other sellers on it. The buy box is $46.99, mine is $79.50, loaded at retail. So the first thing that I would do is um, I can change the price easily just by clicking inside the box, adjusting the price, and then clicking save. But I sometimes like to base my price off of what the other sellers are doing. So I'll click the listing, and as you can see, I'll go here. There's one left in stock at $46.99, and then the next one is $79.50. So if I go back to my manage inventory, I know that, yes, there is one being sold right now at $46.99. However, once that's gone, I'm the only person on the listing. Personally, I would just wait, maybe lower it a little tiny bit, let this person sell out, and then hopefully I can get a much higher price for mine. And I like to do that with everything. So I would even go to this one, click on it. You can see that there's several different sizes. I pick the size that I have. And I can see here that, you know, it's going for about $78, $79. And I have it listed at $168. So most likely it would be in my, you know, wisest decision there to maybe lower the price a little bit. But even with only two sellers on the listing, I still certainly could take the patient route and and leave it a little higher and see if I can sell it at a higher amount. Ultimately, it boils down to would you rather it take possibly a little bit longer to make the sale where you can have a higher, higher profit margin or are you looking to flip it faster and maybe only make half? Um, if I have an item that is close to the buy box, um, sometimes I'll just go ahead and match the buy box. But as you can see, a lot like right here, you know, this is $89.50. The buy box is $63.76. I can go ahead and click on that. And I can say, all right, let me see what everybody else is doing, you know. And there are other people that have their prices up a little bit higher. So maybe I would just lower it a little bit. My strategy on high-end Macy's retail price clothing and shoes and handbags is I leave it at retail for the first week, maybe I'll just lower it a couple dollars. So instead of it being 168 even, maybe I'll do like 165, 65, just so it's not a round number. Um, and then on a weekly basis, I may go in and just lower it a little bit. And as I said, if I find my price is getting close to the buy box, sometimes I'll click, if you click match price, it'll match this price. Um, but I like to do the higher profit, slower sales and just gradually reduce my pricing. And you can do that here. You could change them all. If you change them all, when you're done, you click Save All, and then that'll update all of your information. Now, you may or may not have Sales Rank and Buy Box in your filters. What you do is you wanna click Additional Filters. Hold on a second, Preference Columns, I'm sorry. You can go to Preference Columns, and that's when you can basically tell Amazon, you want to see the status, the image, the SKU, um, the date created, if it's available. And then I always click, make sure I have buy box price and sales rank and buy box eligible, just because I like to know what the buy box is. So you could go ahead and do that, and then you can click save changes, and then you'll have the same um, descriptions here at the top that I have. If you don't have that, like I said, then you have to click on preferences and you have to change your columns. So that's how you manage your pricing inside of your Amazon inventory inside of Seller Central. Thank you.